hi dear children today in this session we are going to learn about wind and rainfall and their different types wind the horizontal movement of the air on the surface of the earth is called wind wind blows on the earth due to rotation of the earth and difference in pressure wind always move from high pressure region to low pressure regions the direction of the wind is shown by an instrument called wind vane or weather cog the instrument anemometer is used to measure the speed of the wind winds are classified into four major types they are planetary winds seasonal winds local winds cyclones and anti cyclones at first let us learn about planetary winds planetary winds are known by different names they are permanent winds prevailing winds and regular winds this wind blows more or less in same direction throughout the year these winds play a major role in climatic change desert formation guide navigation routes there are three types of planetary winds they are trade winds anti trade winds and polar winds trade winds these winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure region the trade winds in the northern hemisphere blow from north east to south west direction and in the southern hemisphere they blow from south east to north west direction westerlies or anti trade winds these winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt these are from south west to north east in northern hemisphere and north west to south east in the southern hemisphere the westerlies of southern hemisphere are very strong over the oceans hence they are called roaring 40s furious 50s and shrinking 60s striking 60s polar winds polar winds are also called easterlies these winds blow from polar high pressure belt to sub polar low pressure belt they blow from north east to south west in the northern hemisphere and south east to north west in the southern hemisphere these are the cold dry winds blowing from the polar ice caps seasonal winds seasonal winds are also called periodic winds these winds change their direction periodically or seasonally the monsoon winds of india are the typical periodic winds 
in india southwest monsoon winds blow from southwest to north east direction during june to september and north east monsoon winds blow from north east to southwest direction from the late september to middle of december local winds periodic winds are the result of variation in local temperature pressure humidity which in turn are attributed to the formation of air current crossing mountain regions valley and other relief barriers the important periodic and local winds are land breeze sea breeze mountain breeze valley breeze and other few winds are low in india chinook or snow eater in usa fawn in alps region mistral in france siraco in sahara region brick fielder in australia blizzards in antarctica cyclones cyclone is a small low pressure area in the center surrounded by high pressure the winds blow spirally towards the low pressure area in the northern hemisphere the direction of cyclonic winds is anti clockwise or counter clockwise and in the southern hemisphere it is clockwise cyclones are two types namely tropical cyclones and temperate cyclones tropical cyclones are found in the tropical region they are very powerful and disastrous temperate cyclones are found in the temperate region they are comparatively less strong and less dangerous cyclones are called by different names in different regions they are called typhoon in japan and china it is called hurricane in usa and mexico in australia it is willy willies in india it is cyclone in russia they are called the whirlpool anti cyclones anti cyclone is high pressure area in the center with the wind blowing outward towards the low pressure areas in the northern hemisphere the direction of anti cyclones wind is clockwise and in the southern hemisphere it is anti clockwise humidity the amount of water vapor or moisture present in the air is called humidity humidity is measured by using an instrument called hygrometer or psychrometer humidity is expressed in different ways important among them are absolute humidity relative humidity and specific humidity absolute humidity refers to total amount of water vapor present in a given volume of air it does not take temperature into consideration 
relative humidity is the ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the amount of water vapor the air can hold at that temperature it is expressed in percentage specific humidity is the actual amount of water vapor present in a given mass of air clouds cloud is a mass of small water drops or ice crystals formed by the condensation of the water in the atmosphere usually at a considerable height above the earth surface types of clouds clouds are classified on the basis of their shapes and heights at which they occur the important types of clouds are at first stratus clouds stratus clouds are usually low clouds occurring at less than 2 km of height they appear thin sheets or layers of large extent stratus clouds are associated with the fair weather cumulus cumulus clouds are cauliflower shaped clouds of great vertical extent the base of cumulus clouds is nearly horizontal while the top has a dome shaped appearance these are popularly called wool specks cumulus clouds are rain bearing clouds cirrus cirrus clouds are the highest clouds in the atmosphere these clouds resemble curls of hair they have a feathery or fibrous appearance they indicate fair weather and often given a brilliant sunset they looks like patches of cotton fibers floating in the air their popular name is mare's tail or witch's broom nimbus nimbus clouds are rain clouds which occur at low levels these clouds have the shape of stratus or cumulus they are dark gray or black in appearance they cause heavy rainfall or snowfall the nimbus stratus are thick heavy rain bearing clouds rainfall precipitation in the form of water droplets is called a rainfall the total amount of rain received on a given area during a given time as measured by a rain gauge in millimeters or inches there are three types of rainfall namely conventional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall conventional rainfall the rain caused by the process of convection is called convectional rainfall in areas of high temperature air rises up due to heating this rising air cools saturated condensation take place and later rainfall occurs 
കൺവെക്ഷണൽ റെയിൻഫോൾ ഇസ് വെരി കോമൺ ഇൻ ദി ഇക്വറ്റോറിയൽ റീജ്യൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ദി ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ റീജ്യൻസ് ഇൻ സമ്മർ ഇൻ ദി ഇക്വറ്റോറിയൽ റീജ്യൻ കൺവെക്ഷണൽ റെയിൻഫോൾ ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ റെയിൻ as it occurs mostly in the afternoon it is accompanied by thunder and lightning orographic rainfall orographic rainfall is also called a mountain rainfall or relief rainfall when the moisture laden air is obstructed by a mountain barrier the air is forced to rise up as the air rises upward it cools and get saturated further cooling of this air causes condensation resulting in orographic or mountain rainfall in the windward side of the mountain receives a more rainfall while the leeward side of the mountain receives a less rainfall the leeward side is generally called the rain shadow region cyclonic rainfall in a cyclone the air blows spirally inward in the tropical cyclones the air rises upward in circular movement so condensation takes place to cause heavy rainfall the temperature cyclonic rain is also called the frontal rain when the warm air mass and the cold air mass meet the warm air being lighter is forced to rise over the heavier cold air the warm air after rising cool and condenses resulting in rainfall distribution of rainfall the distribution of rainfall on the earth depends on location and the climatic conditions of that region the most important heavy rainfall areas in the world are the equatorial region the eastern margins of a subtropical belt the western margins between 40 degree and 60 degree north and south latitudes scandi rainfall regions are the polar areas the western margins of uh, subtropical regions and the tropical and uh, temperate uh, deserts mau syndrome of meghalaya in india has recorded uh, 1140 cm of rainfall per year it is considered uh, as the wettest or rainiest uh, region on the earth Agumbe of Karnataka is called the Mau Syndrome of South India. Rohili of Rajasthan in India receives the lowest rainfall. Weather and climate. Atmospheric condition of a place at a given time is called the weather. In contrast, the the average weather condition of an area over a long period of time is called the climate the scientific study of the weather is called the meteorology the scientific study of the climate is called the climatology factors which affect the climate of a place are latitude altitude winds 
ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഫ്രം ദി സി ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ടർ ബോഡീസ് ആൻഡ് ഓഷൻ കറൻസ് 